Over the past week, we have seen a number of the demonstrations taking place in Iran. They started mainly in Mashhad and Kermanshah, but then they spread throughout Iran, especially in small villages and towns. So, differently from other instances, they focus more in small towns rather than in the capital, Tehran. Um, the reason and the trigger uh, for this protest is still unclear and it seems that it diverged uh, from one place to the other, though the common theme was the economy, the state of the economy. In some instances this was called the egg revolt uh, because of the increase of prices in uh, basic products, uh, including eggs. But there seem to be other reasons also linked uh, to the protest. Um, the budget that was presented by the government, as well as uh, the way in which uh, the earthquake in Kermanshah, for instance, was handled, um, drove a number of people into the streets. Um, now it's unclear how the protests will develop moving forward. Um, the IRGC chief has said that uh, they have been contained and the sedition is uh, uh, complete. Um, but uh, at the same time, we don't know if there is going to be any other repercussion, uh, both domestically and internationally. Um, it seems that uh, the main thing to be watching will be how the government, the administration, will come out of this demonstration. Uh, the economy was already the main thing on which it was criticized, especially during the electoral campaign in May 2017, and uh, it was the main thing on which it had to focus uh, during the second mandate. So this added pressure uh, during the protest will make it difficult for the administration to deliver. It also increases the level of uh, infight between different factions within Iran. So the domestic issue will be something that will, be, will need to be looked at closely. Uh, the other element is the international pressure. Uh, we have seen the reaction from the United States to the protest, in particular by the Trump administration, and uh, it seems that um, there might be some repercussion uh, for the nuclear deal in light of the protest. We already know that the Trump administration is not very much keen to see the continuation of the implementation of the deal from the US side. And next week, uh, we are seeing a number of deadlines with regard to the renewal of the waiver of sanctions, which have been already in place uh, since January 2016, uh, so when the implementation of the JCPOA started. So depending on what the US administration will decide to do, we will see some kind of linkage between what's happening domestically in Iran and the survival of the nuclear deal as well.